After Batman teams up with Superman to take on Lex Luthor, the challenge facing Warner Brothers for Batman's next solo film is no laughing matter. So if they decide to revisit Batman's arch rival, which actors do I think are fully equipped to fill the mightily imposing shoes of the previous Joker? Get it? Big shoes? Because he's the clown prince of crime? Oy, oy, oy. And I thought my jokes were bad. I'm Will, and this is my war to make your superhero movies better. Heath Ledger's performance in The Dark Knight Rises is already legendary, and his tragic passing has left a void in the franchise. But that certainly doesn't mean the character's popularity and his potential has dropped off. So, here are my three picks for the new Mr. J. Number one, it's Mr. Vincent Cassell. Just look at that smile. Either he was born to play the Joker, or he's trying to steal our soul. <laughs> In addition to having the sinister smile down, Cassell has played some pretty sinister characters in the past, meaning he could easily step into a very heavy Joker arc, like something like, I don't know, say, the killing joke? Oh, please give us the killing joke. Number two is Walton Goggins. I mean, come on, his name sounds just silly enough to actually be a Batman villain's alter ego. <laughs> Arnold Wesker, Jervis Tetch, Oswald Cobblepot, and Goggins has a history of playing really animated villains. Check out Django Unchained. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh, I'm gonna go walking in the moonlight with you. And what if Warner Brothers follows the Marvel trend of hiring more TV guys to direct their movies? Goggins has plenty of TV street cred from both Justified and The Shield, meaning he has to be top of that list. Finally, controversially, we come to Sebastian Stan, or as you might know him better, the Winter Soldier. I know what you're thinking, but keep in mind that Warner Brothers has shown us in the past they have no problem luring Marvel actors over into their DC universe. Remember when Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool and Green Lantern? Okay, admittedly, both those movies make us wish amnesia bullets were a real thing so we could forget what kinda happened. But Stan has already proved his effectiveness as a great villain in the Winter Soldier. He played a villain who was kind of a direct foil for the hero. Exactly like Bats and Mr. J have always been. They complement each other. Two halves of the same whole. If nothing else, he's already got the right haircut to play the Joker. You're good. And those, ladies and gents, are my three picks for who could replace Heath Ledger as the Joker. Not that I really want to. Sorry, Heath. We miss you massively. If you like any of my choices, or hate any of my choices, give the video a share. I'd really appreciate it. Or stick around here and watch more Will's War. We've got a bit of bad flag going on here, and we've got The Incredibles 2 going on here. Both appealing, both different. Which one will you choose? Only you can decide. <laughs>